Welcome to the Rusted Garden Homestead. Today's video is all about taking care of your strawberry plants at the end of the season. We're going to just do a basic water soluble feeding that'll be good enough to get them growing now while they're developing all these beautiful runners. I'm going to show you how you can propagate these using a plastic bag right over there real simply and you're going to have tons of strawberry plants. There are easily with all the runners on all of my green stalk towers probably I would say almost 75 strawberry plants that I can propagate. I can use to fill my container pockets. That's what I'm doing now. Or if you do a plant sale, you can get them established now in the fall, overwinter them, and then you can sell them at a plant sale for easily two, three dollars a plant. So this is a great way to save money. Strawberry plants put out runners, and you can see it starts from the main plant, comes all the way down, feeds the plant. It grows in the air basically. If the bottom of the strawberry plant touches the soil, the soil stays moist, eventually roots come out. And what I do is I just, you know, take some of them, main plant, and I would press it right into the soil. I already have a couple going. You end up with so many, the question is what do you do with them? If you're growing in the ground and the runners are spreading out, they're going to establish in the ground, but you can also use this technique. When they're in the ground, I usually get these containers, fill them with soil, and I just lift the runner up and I place them in each container. Sometimes the containers get knocked over, they dry out a lot quicker. I like using this method better. You can use this right in these towers, a Ziploc bag. You want to make sure you put a hole in the corner for drainage. These are going to maintain moisture better because it's sealed up top, and you're just putting a slit in. You can do a plant right there, a plant right there. You can put in another slit, another plant. You can really get three plants in here. This whole ball of soil in here, this bag of soil, is going to fill up with roots. When you see them, you kind of loosely pull them apart and you plant up your strawberry plants where you want them to go. What I, why I like this bag is if you try and put a container in here, it's just not going to fit. It's going to fall over. A, ba a bag really conforms to the size of the pocket. It's perfect for the runners and you just take the runner and you, you know, where it contacts, it's going to root out. So you're tucking one in there and you could grab the one at the end, tuck it right in next to it. And then you could even cut a slit and put in two or three more. So this is going to hold for them, but wherever it contacts, it's going to root out. It's going to take about three or four weeks for the roots to really establish. What I really like about this is it stays moist compared, compared to, to these containers that dry out really quickly and you don't want the strawberry to die off. This is just a great way to propagate all of these. This is money, you know, that you save by not having to buy plants to put in other parts of your garden. If you're just getting started with growing strawberries, I really recommend picking up some June bearing strawberries where they predominantly produce in June and ever bearing because here late August, I am still getting strawberries. So mixing up June bearing and ever bearing is a good way to go. These are green stock towers. You can find information about that in my video description if you're interested. And also check out my blog, The Rusted Garden Journal. I'll be doing a whole article on growing strawberries and propagating them. And once they establish roots in this bag, and again, you can put in three, even four of the baby plants right into here. You take them out, you put them right into the containers. They're set up, they have a nice root system. You water them in, it's gonna be later into the fall. And you just put these somewhere where they're partially protected for your winter. Here in Maryland, I can leave them out. They survive our winters. You'll end up with strawberry plants you can plant at a plant sale. And I just did a quick count of all the baby plants right in here. There is 34 of them. 34 times three bucks, you're over $90, almost a hundred bucks in plants you can sell or money you can save by just you know, putting these plants in different parts of your garden. All right, let's get to the fertilizing. Straight and simple for the water soluble. End of the season's gonna vary a little bit. August, September, depending on where your garden is. The heat of the summer kind of beats up the plants. A lot of people have June bearing strawberries. Some people have ever bearing. I recommend to mix this way you get strawberries through the whole season. The plants get beat up. You wanna get onto a good watering routine. You can see some of the leaves died off up there. I started watering regularly again uh, about two weeks ago. The new growth is coming in. Plants look good. You can see all the new growth coming in. So to take care of your plants going into the fall, make sure you get the watering back. That's the biggest issue. And then at this point, middle of August, end of August, middle of September, depending, you just want to water in each pocket with 
a water soluble fertilizer. Now the green stock towers you can water from the top for the fertilizing. I just recommend eyeballing it like this. I'm using AgroThrive. It's the water soluble fertilizer I recommend. You can find that in the video description. Just mix it as it states and real quick that's it. The water soluble into each pocket. That will help the new growth gets started now. It will help with just making the plant itself stronger. It will help with the runners and it's going to be enough fertilizer to get them through the rest of the season and be available come spring to get them off to a great start. But just a quick pour into every pocket. Water soluble means that the nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium is immediately available to the plant. And your strawberry towers, your strawberry plants, I would do the same thing in the ground, are going to be good to go for the rest of the fall. They'll have everything they need to get off to a great start come spring. And I like using that plastic bag because these containers tend to dry out more quickly. They don't fit easily into pockets. They even, you know, will just get knocked over easily when they're on the ground. You can save so much money by taking the runners and just propagating all the baby strawberry plants. And this is what they look like. So the little plant starts to grow. This one will establish and the runner will keep going and produce another plant. And eventually they look like something like this. And their whole goal is just to trail down, find soil and establish. Thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com and I highly recommend growing strawberry plants in vertical towers. The rabbits don't get to them, the plants do really well, and it's just a delight to come out and just harvest, you know, dozens of strawberries off of your towers. Thanks for watching.